My name is Father Michael Siski. I'm a third order regular Franciscan at St. Maria Goretti's Parish here in Arlington, Texas. Today we're here to celebrate Ash Wednesday, the beginning of our Lenten season. We have our normal uh, Mass, but it is not normal in that sense that we do the signing of the cross with the ashes on our forehead, an outward sign of inner conversion. I remember one year I was standing there and there was a lady watching me very intently. You could tell she wasn't Catholic. And she asked me why Catholics do all these rituals. And so I kind of told her the repentance of Nineveh, the people took God's call seriously and sat in the ashes the same as King David did. And she looked at me and her eyes got really wide open and she says, can I get the ashes too? So here is a person from a non-Catholic tradition who's not sacramental, who now sees this value in the sign. And that just always touches my heart, that people come here because they recognize there's something very different about it. Today was the school mass, and so we focus on the, the kids for that. We don't usually address the adults too much. We try to break down uh, the scriptures for them. And so we, we spent the time asking them, um, you know, what is it about Lent? What, is, what are the three mandates that Jesus gave us? Ash Wednesday is not a holy day of obligation, although it's interesting because we will have huge crowds of people who come for this uh, service, whether it's the Mass or just the, the signing of the ashes. There's something in our hearts that we know that we're not always living God's will out. And Ash Wednesday is a day that we kind of just, beginning of Lent, stop and take notice of that. So I would suggest the idea of quiet and solitude with God is what really is going to keep us on track. Thank you.